All right, YouTube. Now, it's a 2007 BMW 328i. Now, I noticed a lot of people been having this problem and they ain't have the answers to it yet. And I finally broke down and got one, you know what I'm saying? I got one from the auction and whatnot. And I was having that starter issue, the same thing like everybody else having. And nobody really goes into depth. Everybody go ahead and talk about changing starter, changing this, changing that. I ain't had to do all of that bullshit. You know what I had to do and why I'm pointing at this damn battery while I'm talking, I'm going blah, 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 blah. I pulled off this thing right here off of the top of this. This is what sits on top of all this bullshit right here. Boom. Pulled all that off of there and you'll notice all these fuses and blah, 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 and whatever the hell they call them. I'm sure some kind of internet uh, wise guy is going to be like, oh, that's a, that's a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a modulator off the Starship Enterprise or whatever the fuck it is. I don't care. But usually looking at what I'm looking at, you know what it is. I went right here. And you see how this is now that I fixed it, but this right here was way back here. This this little thing right here, see how it's plugged in there now? This was way back here, and it was some sort of fuse or something like that that was either blowed up or ex exploded or something like that. And basically, it, kept, it had a large gap, and this is the wire that goes to the starter. It goes here, and it runs down in here in the cut, and it goes way inside the car through the car and to the starter. That's why the car didn't want to start. There's a push button start joint, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's some kind of safety feature or something like that. And let me tell you what I did. I took that apart, I unscrewed this here, okay? I unscrewed that there and I took the whole battery out and there's another screw way on the bottom there that's connected to this wire that's going down there. You can take, now you can take this whole thing out now I took this out this whole thing out of the whole red plastic joint there and I beat this I beat this into this it's like a little it's like a little receiver you'll see it you can actually hammer that into that hole there and it'll fit and it'll stay fused basically fused in there put it all back together fired the thing up voila you know what I'm saying Car's running right now as we speak. Let me go back this side here. Car is running. Okay. And I had all day, I was looking all over the internet for the answers to my problems, but it didn't want to work and nothing happened. I hit the button, I hit that little start button, click, click every time. I almost took out the whole damn starter, all the intake and all that bullshit. And we're finna go crazy doing all that for nothing. What I showed you is that. So first thing first, take that plastic thing apart. Look inside there to see if it's a big separation between what I showed you. And go from there, alright? That's the first place you want to start at. All that starter shit. If you got time on your hands and money to burn, baby, go ahead. Alright? Peace out, YouTube. I hope I saved somebody some kind of money. You know what I'm saying? So, let me know. Yeah.